What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be doing something a little bit different for my channel, okay? We're switching it up a little bit because you guys know my channel is like 99.9% .9 of the time beauty focused and that's what we talk about on this channel and today we're, we still got some beauty stuff going on but we're switching gears a little bit and we're going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul, okay? I'm throwing it back to like YouTube 2012 with the hauls but honestly I miss hauls and I went to Dollar Tree yesterday for one thing and one thing only and left with like 30 things but I was shook at how much good stuff they had. I was like, whoa. There was so many hidden gems in there and I was just like, okay, I need to like do a full haul and like share this with the world because Dollar Tree is popping off right now and they just have such good stuff. And I'm like, who doesn't love Dollar Tree? Who doesn't love $1 cool stuff? You know, if you guys have not already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified of all of my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go get into the haul because I can't wait to share this stuff with you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is actually something that I was most excited for. And I actually already started to use them. Everything else I still kept in the bags, but I was so excited about these that I already put stuff in them. But, so Dollar Tree sells these little guys. They're just basically little glass containers. You can get these a lot of places, but if you got them at like TJ Maxx or Home Goods, they would probably be at least six to seven dollars, if not more than that, at those stores where you can get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And what these are so incredible for is, drum roll please, your brushes. These can hold so, so, so many brushes. Like, do you guys see how many brushes I have in just one of these? So I went crazy and bought like a ton of these. Like they can fit a ton of different brushes and they look really sleek and nice just sitting on your counter. So I had these actually in my beauty room, like where I normally get ready and stuff, but in my filming room, I always have kind of like my brushes laying all over the place and it was super disorganized. And then I remembered that I got them at Dollar Tree. So this was what I originally went back to get. And I was only gonna get one and I ended up getting like seven of them because I was like, well, let me just put all of my brushes in them. <laughs> so I have all of my brushes and these ones that I'm showing you guys are face brushes. So I would say they can fit there's probably at least 20 face brushes in each of these. So for the average person, probably like two of them would be good. You can get one for face brushes and one for eye brushes. It can fit a ton of eye brushes. Here's one that I filled with eye brushes. So I mean, there's like a bajillion in here. A lot of these needs to be cleaned. But I wanted to see like how many I could really fit in these. And they're so nice. They're sturdy and have completely helped to clean up my vanity and helped with my makeup storage. Like it looks so much better now that I have them in these nice containers, nice and organized. I can see my brushes. I can see what needs to be cleaned. And then when I was in that glassware section, I came across this little guy, which is perfect to hold beauty blenders, which you can see a lot of these need to be cleaned as well. I put the clean ones on top, but it's glass. So I mean, you guys can see through, but you get the gist. Um, I'm going to hold it up to show you guys. It's a heart. I'll take these out actually, so I can show you what it looks like. But this one is a little bit shallower. It looks like a heart. It's so cute. They also had one that was like shaped like a star. But I thought a container like this might not be the best for beauty blenders because they'll all kind of get buried on the bottom. And in case they're not like super dry when you put them in there, it can get kind of murky. I just don't like that. I like them to be open and airy. So I thought this one would be better because it's not as deep and they can all kind of just lay more towards the top. I think we need to go back and get another one so I can separate them a little bit more. But I thought this was so cute to store like beauty sponges and stuff. Just like plop them in here when you're done and then you can just like wash them all when you need to. I mean, it can fit a lot. Let's see how many in just one layer it can fit. But I mean, you can comfortably fit at least six little sponges or you can like double layer them kind of like how I was doing. I thought that was a great option. So when I saw this stuff was $1, I knew I had to hop on. So I was really, really excited about those. I think it was a really great find and has totally cleaned up my workspace, which I'm really excited about. I have all these bags on the floor. So we will start with this guy right here and see what we have in here. Oh, okay. This I was really pumped about. So I drink a lot of water throughout the day. Let me put the top back on because it's like popping off. I drink a lot of water throughout the day and I just thought this was really, really nice instead of like buying water bottles and constantly, constantly just reusing so much plastic from opening a new water bottle. I like to drink just out of like reusable cups throughout the day. So I thought this was really cute. They had this in a bunch of different colors actually. They had like a purple one, a turquoise one, a bunch of different options, but I opted for the pink one and I thought it was cute that it comes with this little straw, but then you do also have this area that you can choose. You just want to drink that way. You don't want to use a straw. So you have both options and it is BPA free too, which that's really nice um, and something that I look for when I buy like reusable cups like this. So for a dollar, I thought that this was super, super cute. So I picked this up. And again, I feel like if you were to get this at somewhere like TJ Maxx or Home Goods, it would run you like at least five or six dollars. So it is significantly cheaper. Okay, up next, this I thought was the cutest thing. Now Dollar Tree is a place that I honestly wouldn't think to find home decor at. I'm normally like a TJ Maxx, Home Goods type of gal when it comes to home decor, but this was so cute. I couldn't pass it up. Like, is this not adorable? 
And this is like nice. It's not wooden. Um, it's like, I don't know what this kind of material necessarily is, but it's still sturdy feeling. Like it's not gonna break in half. It says thankful and blessed. I just thought it was so cute. It has the little glitter detailing on it. Like for $1, I was like, okay, I need it. Like I would have paid $10 for it. So for one buck, I couldn't pass it up. Like I just feel like to hang on your front door maybe, or you could hang it inside of your house as a little piece of decor, maybe prop it up in the kitchen for fall. And obviously like this year, Halloween and stuff is probably gonna be a little different. Not gonna really have have trick-or-treaters and stuff but I still want to have some cute little things inside the house and fall decor it's one of my favorite seasons to decorate for so I thought this was super cute and they had a bunch of stuff that was similar to this there this one just fit my aesthetic the most but they had a couple different like pumpkins that said different things with different sayings and I thought this was really really cute and again for one dollar I mean you really can't beat it okay I have another bag here that actually has a couple other things for decor that I got so these guys are so me I as soon as I laid eyes on these I was like need it need it need it how cute they're just like these little pumpkins but they literally have all of these little beads all over them like these are very nice i feel like i've seen things just like this again at home goods for much pricier so they're so shiny and super cute i love to put just like little touches like this like maybe in the bathroom or around my house nothing like i don't need this big like scarecrow you know but just something little cute like this for fall decor i really like so i thought these were adorable and they're cute and girly too because they have that like sparkle to them but they're not like over the top and like pink with feathers you know so like my husband is still cool with them so i thought these were adorable and they had these in a couple different colors but i just grabbed one of the more gold ones and then one of the classic orange like pumpkin ones so i thought they were too cute to pass up Okay, moving on, we have a more like beauty slash hair product. So I saw this and was like, that is so cute. I've been a big scrunchy gal recently. I'll take this little package off to show you guys. Um, I just prefer little scrunchies like this to put my hair up than I do to like regular elastic bands. I just find my hair doesn't get caught around these like they will on like regular um, hair bands that I would use. So they're gentler on my hair and I just feel like they look cute. They add a little something to your ponytail when it's up. And this little snake print one, I was like, okay, animal print. Like I was the animal print queen back in the day. Like everything I had was animal print. But I feel like something about snake Snake skin is like elevated like I used to be like zebra and cheetah everything where now I feel like snake skin's a little more classy for 27 year old me instead of 17 year old me but still cute and fun so I was like okay that's adorable for one dollar and they had actually a couple different options there too um, for different scrunchies but this is the one that I thought was cute it does stretch out pretty big to to put your hair up with so I picked this up okay next this was something that shocked me I had never looked for this at Dollar Tree so I had never really seen them before but they had so many different bath bombs at my Dollar Tree do you guys have those at your Dollar Tree like I guess I was never really looking for them before so I didn't see I haven't seen them previous but they had so many different options so many different scents so I grabbed two of them, but I'm telling you guys, they had like 34 different options of bath bombs. And I just thought these were super cute. Like this would be great too for a gift. Like if you want to do like a stocking stuffer, I'm getting so ahead of myself. It's literally August and I'm talking stocking stuffers for Christmas, but that's just how my mind goes. Once I'm like in fall mode, I'm like, okay, we're almost at Christmas time. <laughs> but these are so, so cute. And I don't know, I'm really excited to try them out. I'm gonna open them up and smell them. So I got the vanilla sugar and raspberry bath bombs. You get three of them in here. They are individually wrapped, but oh, you can smell it through there. Oh, that's actually really nice. I like these a lot. So this again is vanilla sugar and raspberry. Really, really cute. And you get three of them. They're a good size. You know what would be cute? I'm thinking now if I went back and got another one of these glass holders and filled it with some bath bombs and put that by the tub. Cute. I think I'm going to have to do that. That's a good idea. But these I thought were super, super cute. And then these ones were adorable. These are actually bigger and you still get three of them in here. And they're like hearts. The scent on these is rose petal kisses. I like rose scented things. So let's give these a sniff and see. Ooh, wow. Yeah, these are really scented. But they smell like rose. Like if you like rose, you're gonna like these. And these are actually a little bit bigger too and shaped like hearts. So super cute pink. I'm really excited to try these out and I'm gonna literally go back like later today and buy one of these and then fill it with the bath bombs. I think that'll be really cute. Like buy the bathtub and like elevate the way that it looks, you know? So like I said, if you don't like these scents, just go to your local Dollar Tree and if it's like mine, they're gonna have a bunch of different options. Like there was literally so many different scents. But these both smell really, really nice. So I would recommend. Another thing I picked up, this isn't super exciting, but I just thought it was a really good deal. Um, they have these cotton rounds there, which I'll use these sometimes for toner. And you get 80 of them for a dollar where I know I normally buy a three pack at Walmart of a hundred count. So it's about 300, but that's like 
ten dollars it's like nine something or other so this is actually much cheaper to get 80 of them for one dollar so it's a good deal if you need cotton rounds and you use them you get 80 of them for one buck so I just thought that was a good deal okay this next product has me shook I'm really excited to see if this actually works because this is something that I needed and would have never thought to look for at the Dollar Tree but that is this tempered glass screen guard so I've always had a tempered glass like protector on my iPhone and it has saved me so many times if, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but I have like a big I think if I go like that you can see like a big crack in this screen so that's in the tempered glass screen protector on my phone it's not actually the screen itself which is why I really like tempered glass for my iPhones because I'm clumsy and I drop them all the time so once you basically just peel this off my actual screen is fine but I've been wanting to get a new one because this crack is pretty big and sometimes if I'm looking at my phone I can like miss stuff in that little crack area I've been wanting to get a new one I normally get them off Amazon but they are not cheap like I literally think I paid like $30 for the one that's on my phone I do think it came with two so I guess they would have been $15 each but when I saw this there I was like all right I need to at least give this one dollar one a try and see um because it's tempered glass so I would assume they're all relatively the same sort of thing this one is just cheaper because it's at Dollar Tree so I don't know I picked it up because I've been needing one anyways and hopefully it works watch I'm gonna go like put it on and drop my phone and then my phone screen shatters but hopefully that's not the case it does say shatter resistant on it so we'll see I'm gonna try it out but they do have these at Dollar Tree so don't go and like buy them at the Verizon store because I feel like at the Verizon store they try and tell you they're like 50 bucks or something and I'm like uh, no so check Dollar Tree because that's not something I would have thought to look there for and they had it okay now last but certainly not least and this is actually kind of heavy um but this I was really excited about I bought 10 of these that's that's how excited I was but how cute you guys are gonna die they're so cute how stinking cute are these plates like they're literally marble they look so so cute I feel like they have stuff like this at like Target and Walmart for way more expensive so I bought 10 of these for obviously $10 where I feel like maybe I would have gotten like two or not even like potentially one at like Walmart or Target these are really really cute I love the marble detail they actually had um, bowls too there but normally we don't use bowls that often honestly um, we go through plates really quickly and now these are plastic so they're not like you know like a nice glass China or anything like that like, let's not get too crazy. But what I wanted to get these for was for more, like, outdoor, like, plates and stuff. Because we have, like, nice glass plates that we will normally, like, have our dinner on and stuff when we're eating inside. But if we have company over, which we do a lot of times where we're barbecuing outside, sitting out on the deck, sometimes I'll just use, like, paper plates or something because it's easier. I don't want to bring, like, my nice glass plates outside and stuff. So I've been wanting to get some sort of, like, outdoor plate and something specifically that actually was plastic and not glass just in case, you know, going in and out of the house. Something dropped and it broke or whatever, you know, if it's glass, obviously it's going to shatter which I've had many of my plates shattered um, accidentally by things like that happening. So I had been wanting to get a set for more outdoor entertaining and stuff, and these I just thought were absolutely perfect. They're all a little bit different, like the marble on them is unique on all of them. So I actually like went through, because they had a bunch of them at Dollar Tree, so I went through and like picked the ones that I like, because they're all a little unique and different. Um, I'm not going to show you guys every single one, because I doubt you care, but honestly for plastic plates, they're pretty good quality, and it's much better than serving like paper plates to your guests, if you're outside having a barbecue or whatever, and I feel like they look super cute. I mean, honestly, I'm not bougie. I would eat these inside, like as my regular plates. I just happen to have, you know, like nicer plates that I was given as a gift actually at my bridal shower that we normally just use inside, but if you're in college or literally anyone this will do the job or you're looking for a plate maybe for children that don't break I just feel like they look really cute the marbles really adorable and for the price like I said you can't beat it I literally got 10 for 10 bucks these marble ones were totally my aesthetic and just too cute for me to pass up so I got a bunch of them so that is everything you guys for my hidden gems at Dollar Tree let me know down below what has been the best thing that you found at Dollar Tree I would love to hear I can also do another like Dollar Tree makeup tutorial if you guys want me to do that let me know that down below as well I checked out the makeup section while I was there. They didn't have anything super different from the last time that I did a Dollar Tree makeup tutorial, but I can definitely check like different Dollar Trees to see if they have some new stuff, if it's something you guys want to see. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!